What's up, Planeswalkers? Theric6 back with some more Magic the Gathering Arena. Today we're going to be playing some sweet blue-white mill. Now this deck was semi-inspired by Saffron Olive's list. Excuse me, Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive's list. Um, <clears throat> but I made a, a several changes, especially considering uh, the video I watched from that was a long time ago. Um, so essentially the point of this deck is just play some of these enchantments and hope you don't die in the meantime. <laughs> It's uh, one of the weaker versions of Mill um, that have been around in the past year. Um, I, I had a Mill video that was a little bit better from the previous season. But this one is still fine. It's still fun. However, uh, it preys a little bit more on the control decks since they aren't able to pressure you as often. And you're going to be able to land one of these enchantments, protect it, and uh, have the Mill out. Whereas a lot of the aggressive decks right now are incredibly aggressive. <laughs> Uh, so if, if you're able to survive against the aggro decks, you should be able to win, uh, after, you know, you've stabilized and start just grinding them out. So the, the way the deck wins, as I said, is to land a couple of these enchantments, hopefully two or more, um, drown secrets whenever you cast a blue spell, you mill them a bit, and psychic corrosion whenever you draw a card, you mill them a bit. Fun fact, we're playing a lot of blue cards that draw. <laughs> so, um, either of these cards are really good. Uh, speaking of draw, we have four ops, four radical ideas, four charter courses, four chemistry's insight, and technically two blink of an eye. Um, the ops help you dig to your uh, the, any of the cards that you need. The radical ideas are things that you can use over and over. Chemistry's insight very similar. Uh, it draws you a chunk of cards that you can use again. And charter course is kind of just for a a big card draw that kind of has a downside. We have enough lands, we are running 24, that sometimes we're, we're totally fine just discarding a card. We don't have any main deck creatures, as you can see. Um, so what this really does is it allows us to dig deeper earlier, um, very similar to opt in that fashion, where we kind of use chart of course to find a critical piece uh, in, in certain areas. Um, Blink of an Eye, I said kind of because you have to kick it in order to get that value. I found that Blink of an Eye is actually really important in this deck because of Ixlon's Binding, uh, specifically opposing Ixlon's Bindings. So if your opponent is, like, bindings one of your, your cards, not very many ways for you to deal with that uh, in the main deck. So I figured two Blink of an Eyes should help, and they have helped a lot. Um, and then to Revitalize, this is uh, another card that I added. I found that I just needed to survive a little bit longer against some of the other decks, so that's why I included this, and I cut out a couple of sealaways because I found that drawing a card was a little bit better than permanently dealing with a creature in some instances. Um, that said, we do have a decent amount of removal in two sealaways, two Ixalan's Bindings, and four Cleansing Novas. The Novas, of course, are the premium, where we really want to hit this uh, in order to kill our opponent's cards. Um, the Ixalan's Binding, uh, helpful against pretty much every deck, but mostly against the mid-range and control decks, where we can stop them from casting the same thing over and over. And Seal Away is helpful against the more aggressive strategies. I will say, a part of me did want to test this deck out as Jeskai, but the only reason that we would actually be running those is just for Deafening Clarion. And I'm not sure, like, I, I figured that it wasn't worth potentially messing up our mana that much, in order to run Deafening Clarion. That said, definitely, uh, if you have these cards and you're looking to try out this this style of deck, I definitely suggest trying out a Jeskai list that essentially just runs Deafening Clarion and maybe a couple of other sideboard cards um, to help you shore up that super aggressive matchup. That said, I found Cleansing Nova to be mostly fine, as long as we don't die before we can cast it. <laughs> this is our mana base. We have... Um, Meandering Rivers, because we don't have the Hollow Fountains just yet. Glacial Fortresses. Memorial to Genius is very nice, because against the control matchup, we're able to draw cards. Same with Arch of Araska. Just a, a nice way to keep up the pressure um, when if our stuff gets countered against control. Field of Ruin to destroy mostly as Cantos, but you could theoretically also get Memorial to Gen or Memorial to Follies, things like that. Our sideboard is two Disdainful Strokes, typically against control. Two Negates, same... Or three Negates, sorry. Um, same... You could theoretically bring these in against heavy burn decks as well, um, since there is that type of deck running around. That said, the burn deck does still run a decent number of creatures, so sometimes you're going to have bad draws if you do that. For Diamond Mares, we need to live against aggro, <laughs> so that's what this card is for. One Source of Spyglass, as you've probably been able to tell by a lot of my recent videos, I've been loving this card as a one of in the sideboard. We have so much draw in the deck that we find it relatively easily, and we're able to shut down a uh, Cough Cough to Fairies. Another two excellence binding. We when, when we want things gone, we want them to stay gone. <laughs> two the wreckage. It's just an earlier cleansing nova. Essentially, it like it's a step between uh, Devon Clarion and cleansing nova. It helps us a little bit. 
and then a single patient rebuilding. Why is this in here? Uh, cause I like it and I wanted to play it and I bring it in against control. <laughs> it's too slow against aggro, but against control, usually, um, they have used up all of their, uh, counter spells and things like that. So you're going to be able to hit patient rebuilding relatively easily. Acolian is who are we facing here. I got a comment on the last video saying that it sounds like there's a crackling trick. <laughs> I liked the, I liked the comment, by the way. I thought it was hilarious. This is bad hand. This is also a very bad hand. Why do you hate me? Well, at least our opponent mulligan too. Alright, this is fine. Because we, we can Psychic Corrosion on three. We have Opt, that's nice. Um, it I, I didn't hear a crackle. But while I'm recording, I do hear like a hum. And I don't know why. My, my OBS isn't registering anything. But I definitely hear something. Um, if it if it keeps up, definitely let me know. Uh, and I'll try to figure out how to figure out what's going on. Because right now, like, not, the recording doesn't say that anything's wrong. Uh, I'm keeping the opt here for um, Psychic Corrosion. The The problem, of course, is that my opponent is on Golgari, and they have ways to destroy enchantments. They also have graveyard shenanigans, so I could technically just be ramping them into a thing. If you are running up against a lot of graveyard shenanigans, and they are, like, using their graveyard... You could bring in, what is it, a Hollowed Gravestone? Something like that? It's from Ixalan. Like, Exiles, Everyone's Graveyard, something like that. It's a it's a, it's a a card. That said, I don't think it's going to matter too much. I mostly need to just not die against Jadelight Ranger here. Oh, uh, that's fine. Uh, that's unfortunate. Uh, I'm going to opt here. Um... Chemistry's Insight is nice, but I think I'd rather look for something else. Like a Cleansing Nova. That's that's a nice get for me. My opponent would have been able to cast that if they have a land here and blow up my enchantment, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, this is this is definitely a more graveyard-centered one since they do have Fine Broker. Alright, tap land, so I don't have to worry about a Vraska, at least not a big one. But they have Assassin's Trophy, which is unfortunate. That said, I do have an insight, and I can cleansing over this board, and I don't hate cleansing over this board. Yeah, I think I think that's fine, honestly. I can play the memorial. If they play a planeswalker, I can binding it. Secret Squire, sure. It's not too threatening. Eldritch Born, a little threatening. A little, little threatening. That, that said, I can Exxon's Binding it. <laughs> I would love to see a Drown Secret here, because uh, then I could Drown Secret and Kempster's Insight at the same turn. I think that would be pretty good. Find? How dare you? Um, I think I'll Kempster's Insight first. Oh, look, I got a Drown Secrets. Um... I mean, might as well play it. Uh, I have a binding, which will help. I'm not sure I even necessarily... No, I guess I do need to care about this. The problem is I'm at, I'm at nine already. They got with the second... Vraska in there. I hate this new graveyard nonsense. It should be in the front, not the back. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I don't know. Maybe it was incorrect. Maybe I should have just chemistry's insight. Because now they can just find broker Vraska back. Yeah, I think that was wrong. The problem is I'm just gonna die to the stupid secret squire anyway. Yep, that's what I thought. Let's draw some cards. I'm just like gonna die. It's got psychic corrosion.
I don't think I play Meandering River. Because I'm going to want to, what, Drown Secrets and Chemist's Insight. I guess I do have a few things that cost two, but that means I'm, I, I'm forced to discard the next card. Um, one of these is definitely gone. I don't know if I can burst mill them down here, but I literally have to win this turn anyway. Or else I'm dead to their creatures. I guess I could get uh, another Cleansing Nova, so that's a thing. Cleansing Nova would be great here. Oh! Oh, the dream. The actual dream. He's done it. Let's go. Get out of here. Yes! They conceded. I don't even I don't even think I was that technically close to winning. <laughs> oh, get Shrek done. Um, let's see. This is... Uh, I, I prefer this. Uh, I like Spyglass here. The deck usually does play a lot of uh, thingies. Settle Wreckage is kind of necessary. Disdainful Stroke I think is also pretty good here. Um, Binding's not terrible. But it might actually be terrible. Nah. Alright. Um... Problem is, how do I, how do I take things out? <laughs> I think Revitalize is not needed because this is not a super aggressive deck. Um, maybe I, maybe I don't bring in the other Ixalan's bindings. I, I really don't know. Hmm. I'm just going to make terrible decisions. I still think this is fine because of how many good cards they have at that mana cost. I'm just making terrible decisions. There we go. Terrible decisions have been made. I'm effectively using my mute button. This is an opening hand. This is a bad opening hand. Why do you hate me? Ah, uh, tap lands. Why isn't this a hollow fountain? Yeah, they scry to the bottom. So I can't do this on turn two unless I top deck a good land. Um, we'll play Mandarin River because it has to come untapped anyway. Give me an untapped land, please. Don't play a creature. You monster. It's the strong one, too. Ah, oh, crap. All right, well, they got rid of it. Oh, yes. All right, all right. If they if they can't get rid of my drown Secrets early, then maybe I can just destroy them real fast with my mill. <laughs> okay. I do need to kind of get rid of that Branch Walker, though. Uh, don't, no, stop. <laughs> I'm trying to mill you. I assume they're going to keep that? And then I got rid of that. That's fair. Um, I want... I think I want to charter course away this Glacial Fortress... I feel like I want to chart a course, because it draws me two cards. Um, actually, I actually think I'm going to get rid of Field of Ruin. That could, be, that could be incorrect. Next turn, I can Chemistry's Insight. Actually, it might be a better just a radical idea to chart a course. This is painful. I will be able to Cleansing Nova on five, and it looks like my opponent is kind of stuck on lands. Never mind. I don't want to die to this, though. Um, it's a radical idea. Ooh, Seal Away is nice. Seal Away is helpful for me not dying. Do I just do it now? No, I guess not. That was dumb. Fun fact, kids. Uh, don't do that. This explores twice. This explores once. You, uh, target this. I Don't make mistakes that I've made. F fudge off. Beasts are much more reliable. Oh, good. Good for you. Whatever. Bullcrap. 
blowing up your creatures. All right, it's fine. All we need to do is get a removal spell for this, and then never let them have a creature for the rest of the game. That's all that needs to happen. I've seen things that would break. Get a land. Like you. Get a land. That's thank you. That's a land. That's exactly what I asked for. Don't play a creature. Just pass it. Stop. Get some help. Cool, a land. That's fine. This is a one-two. I have five. Stop. I had five turns. You cut that in half. All right. I can't. She can just kill my psychic corrosion. This is nonsense. I have to chart a course. Uh, <laughs> I can tell the records these two cards. <laughs> I think I have to. <laughs> Uh, I think I have to wait, though. I think... Uh, it's terrible. I think I kind of, like, need to hope my opponent does just minus three on the Psychic Corrosion. Because I have more of that, and I don't want... I, I'm probably just screwed anyway. <laughs> minus three, do it. I beg you. Please. S stop. Get some help. I've settled the wreckage, so that's fine. The thing is, if my opponent's smart, they're going to... Oh, do it. Do it. Yes. Alright. If my opponent's smart, they're going to just attack. Never mind. Get Cleansing Nova. I'm the best. I never didn't have it. <laughs> the problem is now that I have Memorial to Folly and I guarded my Field of Ruin. So... Oops. Also, stop. I have another one. Good. Uh, I guess I'll insight. All right, binding is nice. I'll play this. I'll pass. I can stroke something. The problem is I die in three turns. <laughs> I feel like my opponent should just not do anything. It just, yeah, it should just let me die in three turns. I'll get rid of Stroke, I guess. Is that a terrible idea? Probably. Probably. I'm gonna get rid of Settle Rage. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna Exalons Binding this? <laughs> I, I have a plan, though. Alright. The plan is I Exalons Binding this. Right? And then my opponent is going to Memorial to Folly back Carnage Tyrant. Then I'm going to blow Carnage Tyrant up. If they cast something that isn't Carnage Tyrant, I can Disdainful Stroke it. Otherwise, I can Chemist's Insight end of their turn. Everything's fine. I have a plan. <laughs> it's probably not a good plan, considering I have no way of milling my opponent currently. But it's still a plan. <laughs> Alright. This is, this is going to be the Carnage Tyrant. Why am I so loud? Where's my, where's my music? That's, that's fine. Cast that card, and, a, you know, cast another creature. Cast a bunch of creatures, as long as they don't kill me. Concern, yeah, sure. Play that land and cast another creature. I Does he know I know that, that land? All right. I'm offended that you didn't cast another creature. All right. Everything's fine, okay? Everything's fine. I need you to die. And I can't cast Psychic Corrosion, because I need to be able to counter something. <laughs> so, that's a thing. I also need to- I need every card in my hand. <laughs> uh, no. Go away. Because then they could destroy my seal away, and they'd get a creature back. So. Alright. Now I can Psychic Corrosion. <laughs> um, one, two, three, four. Uh... That's fine. I I guess I'm gonna chemist this inside now, because I might draw. All right, I didn't, but thought I might. All right, we're gonna pretend that we have a counter spell. They lost. Vivian Jade Light. Find. All right. Playcrafter is fine because I have a seal away. All right, it it dies anyway. All right. We do not deserve this. 
<laughs> okay, everything's fine. We have a blink of an eye now. Yes! <laughs> we beat a real deck! <sighs> Our opponent was playing like an actually like good tier deck, and we still won. Oh, now we're going to get destroyed. My hubris is showing. Oh, I queued too quickly. Hopefully we don't, it's not a mirror. I really don't feel like dealing with a mirror. Yeah, hopefully it's something. I got stuff to do. It's Silver Dragon. It's not a spell summer. Also, why aren't you Karn? He's a Silver Golem. He's close. I do like that you can choose who goes first in best of three now. I don't think there's a, a deck in standard right now that wants to go second, but... Yeah, it's nice to have. This is a hand. Sure. It has cards in it. I'll keep it. Our opponent mulliganed. Don't be mono-red. Mono-red going first is very hard for this deck to beat. Some might say impossible. Um, I, I'm not one of those people. What are you playing? I mean, it's Chandra, so there's a decent, there's a decent chance. All right, blue, red, possibly Drakes. That said, if my opponent doesn't have a counterspell on turn two, and I can get this drowned secret sound, it's going to be delicious. Gonna move that over. All right, opponent, what are you on? See my sweet, my sweet basic island, Grixis. Crap! Don't thought erasure me. All right, good. My Grixis opponent, those colors, by the way, not really known for their enchantment removal, uh, has tapped out the turn before I play my Drowned Secrets. They did keep both of those cards on top, though. Uh, that said, Drowned Secrets. Now we're going to mill the crap out of them. Next turn, we chart a course. Discard something. And the turn after that, we Chemist's Insight into Chemist's Insight into just many, many more Chemist's Insights. We need to not die to, like, Nicol Bolas. Uh, Ryle might be in here. He might be playing the Drake version with uh, Enigma and Crackling. Could be playing the Phoenix version. Uh, so I'm going to chart course, because this is a sorcery. So if this is the Phoenix version, this is going to be bad. Because I'm helping my opponent. <laughs> I'm, I'm potentially helping my opponent. Uh, if it's the Drake version, I'm absolutely helping my opponent. Let's hope this is normal Grixis control. You sabotaged me. I can't believe you've done this. That's fine, I guess. You still get you still get milled. See where their surveil goes. Keep their surveil on top. They got milled. Another sabotage. I don't know if they knew that that was going to happen, but did. Put it on five cards. Yeah, next time we just play Field of Ruin and pass the turn. It's going to be great. Don't play a... All right, cool. I need them not to play a Nickel Bolas. I really want to play another Drown Secrets. So I'm going to? Mm, I'm doing it. Don't have a Counterspell. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Sounded like some sort of hag. Yes! Uh, discard this planes, I guess. I might, I might need the field of ruin. I don't know. Oh, I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have discarded that planes. I don't have two white. I was, that was potentially a terrible idea. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I mean this looks like pretty typical Grixis control here. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Search first, can't I? Well, that's why I have the field of ruin. I should have discarded this. I have, I have the other one. I, yeah, that was bad, bad move on my part. Hundred percent. I, I, I'll, I'll live up to that. Own up, not live up. All right, cool. I got another white. Um, and now we just uh play draw spells end of turn. They get to flip their Ascanta, but I get to blow it up. Uh, 
best best feature the the hiding the stack best best new feature easily opponents on 40 that's 20 i have to cast 20 cards thought erasure i mean that's fine only really hits half of a card not not really a reason to cast either of these because then my opponent could get something that's more important I don't know if that's the correct thing to do, but it's what I decided to do. Looks like my opponent kept it on top. Uh, I think I'm going to Field of Ruin instead of Chemister's Inciting. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Of course, I wait till their end step. Blow that up, please. And I'll get uh, I'll get a Planes, why not? So they're going to get one use out of it. I just don't want them getting multiple. Could have chemistry incited next turn. I've done that. Beyond. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, that, that card is worthless. I don't have creatures. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Best, best new feature. Easily. Uh, yeah, I'll go planes. Why not? We'll play this. And we'll pass the turn. <laughs> With a bunch of draw cards in our hands, and it's great. I don't think my opponent should have uh, countered this. The problem, the eternal problem, playing against control. Time wasting. All right, let's cast one of these. Yeah, I mean, one of the one of the great things about this deck is, so I mean, I guess they can counter this, but I don't care because I can just cast a chemist inside anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't care if they counter this. Um, one of the one of the great things about control is, especially Grixis control, is they don't have very many ways to deal with this once like you've already gotten things in play, and since you're not running any creatures, like so much of their deck is just worthless, right? The contempts worthless, ritual soot, moment of craving. Like, all of those are just worthless. All right. So, we have, like, a really easy time against them. Jeskai Control is a little bit harder. Um, Nick Wallace is frustrating, but it's fine. Um, just because of how long it's going to take for them to kill us, I think I think we mill them first. Um, but the Jeskai decks usually are the ones that are running Drakes. Usually you don't see the Grixis decks doing the Drake thing. Um, so, they, they potentially can kill you easier. Um, and niv it's really hard for this deck to deal with. Um, even post-side, just... Like, you do have seal aways and... Um, uh, what are those things called? Uh, Ixalan's Bindings. But it's it's still, like, difficult. So here, I mean, my opponent... Um, <laughs> my opponent's, like, screwed. I don't think there's anything they can do about this. Um, I also have no idea if I can just kill them. I'm going to cast this one. One, because they might counter it. And two, because I can see if it's going to kill them. 14? I don't think it is. 10? 2, 4, 6, 8. No, it put them to 2. It's all binding. It's possible I shouldn't have shown them that I have Ixalan's Binding, but... Eh. My opponent is... Screwed? Yeah. Alright, sideboard. We bring in Patient Rebuilding. I mean... Th th they have so they have so few cards in their main deck that can help them. <laughs> and I think we bring, like, all of that in. Like, we don't need Revitalize. We don't need Seal Aways. Um, we kind of don't need Cleansing Novas. I guess we just don't need any cleansing novas. I might, I might bring it in game three if like nonsense happens and they bring in like a bunch of drakes. Because as you can see, I'm getting rid of like all of my removal. Um, so if they do have like a, a transformational sideboard plan and they bring in drakes, that's gonna suck. Um, I think this is fine, and I want to use page rebuilding. So do I take out a random piece of nonsense? I do have Iklan's binding as well. Maybe I, maybe I only have three. That's only like three pieces of removal. I think I think it's this instead. 
And maybe I should keep, like, one Cleansing Nova and take out one Blink Mine. No. Uh, I think... Uh, I'm not sure. I'm legitimately not. Um, I think I think this is fine, though. We we have a decent time anyway, be, just because of the sheer amount of their deck slots that have to go to creature removal. That's just wasted on us, right? Like, they, they, there's no way they're going to be able to take out all of the removal. So they're still going to have dead draws. Especially since we know, like, some of their sideboard cards are going to be to help them even more against those uh, aggressive decks. That said, if we mulligan into Oblivion, we're screwed. <laughs> Why couldn't one of these be a freaking another land? Mulligan, do it. Darn it. Why do you hate me? Why? I, I guess. Sure. Piece of trash. Honestly, I, like, I theoretically could have kept, like, one of those opening hands that had one, one land. And just hoped that I was able to get there over time, since our opponent likely isn't going to have too much pressure on us. If they get a turn four Nickables, uh, that could be a problem, but... We're just going to play an island into a field of ruin and have nothing, because we're probably not even going to draw another land, even though we're playing 24. Because the game hates me, the deck hates me, everything hates me, I want to die. Oh, please, okay. Don't have any gate. I really need you to not have a negate. And we cast this now, because we know they have Sinister Sabotage, but they could have Syncopate. But then they'd have Syncopate next turn anyway. So we're gonna, we're gonna do this now. Like, it, it might get countered. Who cares? Like, we're, we're not, it's not better next turn. Because that, that, the reason it's not better next turn is because next turn they have access, they have potential access to a wider array of counter spells, right? This turn we only have to care about what? Negate, Syncopate, uh, Spell Pierce? Yeah, they have they have syncopate, but they would have had syncopate next turn too, right? Because I as, as long as they play a land, which I assume they're gonna do. All right. So technically, I could have uh, resolved it through syncopate here, but I mean, yeah, I, I kind of need that. So opponent might make me discard off of a nickel bolus, then I can binding the bolus, which is helpful. Uh, probably would discard the chemist's insight, to be honest. I wouldn't love it, but we would want to make sure that we have answers to anything that they play. Cool, water your grave. Um, here's a really hard one. Do I play the corrosion now? They have five cards in hand, only if cast a single syncopate. We couldn't pay for a sneak bait. Literally any of their counter spells would work. Um, I, I don't know. I think I'm going to wait. I think I'm going to wait because I, I, I at least have something I can do. I can end of turn Kempster's Insight. This is the type of thing that is really hard against control is, is knowing when exactly you're meant to deploy your spells. And the potential for my opponent to do something now, to tap out, means that I could maybe resolve a Psychic Corrosion on one of these following turns. And if he doesn't, like, then I still have Kempster's Insight. So, let's see what he does here. All right, so I'm going to Kempster's Insight. I would love for you to count on this. I would love it. They didn't counter. I have another Psychic Corrosion, though. So that means I'm a lot happier casting this now because... If it does get countered, I have a backup. Sure. I don't know if I chart a course here. Because I don't really have anything I want to discard. I'm not under any pressure, so I think I am going to wait. I think I need to be patient there. Because I, I would have to bank on drawing into a card that I'm fine discarding. And I don't want to do that. So we could play Niv. Thought Erasure. So that's bad. I assume they take Psychic Erosion. Yep. Unfortunate, but eh, it happens. Pony is only down to three cards. I am technically not at three. And they're not going to be able to threaten me very easily. 
I know a lot of decks have been playing um, Niv Mizzet plus um, Dive Down in the sideboard. So that's that's something I might have to worry about. I will get rid of Radical ID here and play Drown Secrets. Uh, I think I think we just play it. Yes. Okay. All right. Things potentially coming at Millhouse. This is resolved. It's going to be relatively difficult for them to deal with that. Um, we have some answers in our hand um, if they play a threat. Um, and these answers are answers that help us in the future. Disinformation campaign is really frustrating because it gets rid of one of our answers. I hate you so much. Don't play another one. Don't you dare play another one. Oh, I could play Niv Mizzet now. Or Nickel Bolas. Fudge off. All right. It's unfortunate, though, because it gets bounced to his hands. That's fine. He can't play it again because he played a land. And he also can't Thought Erasure me because he tapped like that instead of tapping differently. Okay. That's fine. The camera's in sight now. Ooh, Disdainful Stroke is nice. I can't hit the, all of the things, though. What did I get? Just some lands. Hmm. I assume he's just going to try and play campaign first. Yep. That occurs. I think since I have Drown Secrets, I think I discard Psychic Corrosion. As sad as that sounds, Excellence Binding gets rid of stuff. Disdainful Stroke stops him from doing more stuff. Will you fudge off? Yeah, like, this is in, in his deck for uh, Golgari. But he brought it in because he needed more threats. So I can binding away the campaign, I guess? Don't you fudging dare. Don't you dare. Alright. I really don't know if I want to deploy this other Drown Secret or hold up to Sample Stroke. A Niv kind of screws me. I do need to get rid of Blood Operative at some point. And I only have what? Did I, did I have all... Did I keep all four in or did I only have three? I don't know. If I didn't bulk into five, this wouldn't be as much of a problem. That's fine. I have a uh, Field of Ruin. I don't mind that too much. Does unfortunately mean that I've wasted a turn. Hmm. I have a counter. Nope. Cool. Let's see what's in there. A campaign, which I would have preferred if they drew. I'm not really seeing much out of the side, though. Um, no, we're just going to pass. Radical idea. I can cast... Get some mills off of them. I'm dead in what? Five? Six turns? So six turns from Blood Operative. Um, this is two. This is four total. 
So that's what? Uh, math is easy. Nine? Uh, a couple a couple less than nine blue spells I have to cast. Okay, so I need to cast nine-ish blue spells in the span of a couple turns. Down to eight. I need him to not deploy this threat. I need this to not happen. Go away. Stay away. Leave me alone. Get out. Leave right now. It's the end of you and me. It's too late, and I can't wait for you to be gone. Because I know <laughs> about her, and I want... Why do I know this song? It's from, like, early 2000s. <laughs> you said that you would treat me right, but you were just a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, attack me. See if I care. 31. Eight cards. Technically fewer. You're making the video run long, guy. Come on. It's already 40 minutes. That thing's coming up, Mill House. I did not expect to be able to beat two tiered decks because in my testing, I played against a lot of aggro. This deck dies to aggro. I just want you to know that. Ixlon's binding. You shouldn't have been so nice. Uh, that said, I do need to play this because I'm going to want to destroy their search for Ascanta. But I think I need to use Ixlon's binding on this blood operative. Don't you dare have a counterspell, you mongrel. Oh. <laughs> I'm just going to get rid of... That was a mistake. My opponent should have waited until I targeted something with Ixlon's Binding. <laughs> that was a mistake on my opponent's part. <laughs> yeah, they, they should have waited and then killed it. 26. Seven cards. Let's check out their deck. See if there's any cool new tech. Nope. Nightville Predator. Uh-oh. Uh. All right, that kills me in five turns. I need to draw some cards, please. I need to draw Camus' Insights. That's... That's not fine, actually. Uh, could... Do you mind fudging off? I need Camus' Insights, and I need them now. That's not a Camus' Insight. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna lose this game. Crap. Why didn't I play the Glacial Fortress? That was dumb. This is bad. Oh, the video's gonna be an hour long. No one's gonna watch it. <laughs> no one loves me. <laughs> ah. It's fine. I just need to run insights back to back. Yeah, that was stupid. Why would I not play the stupid land? I'm fudged. How, how could I draw so poorly? I guess I didn't need to cast the Ixlon's Binding the second time. Nah, I would've... Uh... Eh, yeah, I guess. I'm gonna play Doom Whisperer. Oh! No, they can play Nickel Bolas. And then they can turn into a, 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 a Planeswalker. I'm fudged. No, just, just draw two cards. Uh, making my clock slightly smaller. You didn't use Nicobolus for some reason. So my opponent has a lot of... A lot of things. What are you going to do with that Nicobolus there? Friendo. Just draw, just draw two cards. It's fine. That's not what I wanted you to do. That's not what I wanted. Uh, Well, I'm dead next turn, so I need to draw... The nut, and I don't know what that is. Our right, charter course is a good, good start. Good start. Oh, I would, I would love it if I somehow milled my point. <laughs> Twenty-four. I can't do math. Was that six? Yeah, six. Okay. So this is one. I mean, I need five. I need to cast five more blue spells. Crap. <laughs> well, that's. That isn't it. 
Can I concede not show him the Sorcerer's Spyglass? Uh, I don't think I need Spyglass in this matchup. Might need Cleansing Nova, though. <laughs> Blow things up. I don't think I need either Blink of an Eyes. The other Cleansing Nova also can potentially potentially uh, destroy their uh, disinformation campaigns. I don't know if that's important, but I think I would rather do this. I was so close. All right, I need to not. I need to not have a bad opening hand, which I did. I I mulliganed to what five last game, so that was a pretty good game for mulliganing, mulliganing to five. I need to not flood out after that. All right, we're playing first. This is a hand that has patient rebuilding in it. I'm going to keep it. If we can get to five and resolve patient rebuilding, we should be able to win relatively quickly. The problem is getting there. So next turn, I think, is Charter Course, probably discarding Radical Idea. And the reason we do Chart of Course is, uh, chart of course, is because we want to dig deep. You know what, actually? Our opponent's probably going to make us discard Pace and Rebuilding anyway. I was going to say we could we could just Radical Idea instead, but, like, for to deal with Thought Erasure, but they would probably have us discard, uh... Part of me wants to discard this, because I have enough draw. Yeah. If they have Thought Erasure here, they're going to get rid of Pace and Rebuilding, so not m much I can do about that, unfortunately. I would love it if you didn't have a way to make me discard, at least not target discard, because I would love to play Patient Rebuilding on turn 5. Crap! Here comes Thought Erasure. Goodbye, Patient Rebuilding. I hate you, and I hope everything bad in the world happens to you, and only you, because I really wanted to hit you with Patient Rebuilding. It's a fun card. Why do you hate me? I thought this deck was fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> or I'm, I'm, like, manic, and I'm going to break out and do an episode. Bolus is just like, why? Um. I'll play this. Well, even if we lose this, we won at least a game. I just, just F off. Please, can you do that? Can you just, like, die in a hole? Oh, look, it's in the gate. I might need the blue. Can't wait for them to play a nickel bolus. Something I can't deal with. I love it. No, it's great. No, I'm so happy. Yep. <laughs> you got rid of a land. I assume you have a fourth, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna draw some cards, please. Counters, I don't care. I can cast it again. Cleansing Nova. Cleansing Nova is not a card I should cast right now. <laughs> Even though I kind of want to. Um... I still have these insights. And I'm not afraid to use them. I also have negates. Not afraid to use those. Wait. What's over here? There we go. Thought erasure. I guess I have to negate that. I assume they would take the negate. But I don't want them getting the disinformation campaign back in their hand. Um, let's opt first. Yes, thank you. Um, I kind of want to save it. Does this resolve? Uh, 
Uh, answers look like no. It's fine. Because this one does. Haha, get shrekt. MLB sounds. Alright. We can maybe still win this. We have we have Cleansing Nova's removal. We have a buttload of draw spells. We're potentially okay. I'd like you to not cast a creature this turn, though. I'd like you to just pass the turn. Just pass. Have nothing. Pass the turn. Yes! Um, one, two, three, four. Um, let's cast a Radical Idea first. Just, just, just get milled. I, I want to win this game now. So it's so satisfying to, to play, like, actual nonsense against good decks. Um, let's try to course. Why not? You counter my charter course? Tch, lol. To be fair... Well, I got rid of two good cards. That's fine. They do get their disformation campaign back, though. So, that's bad. I guess I could have waited to do things until they're here, but Charter Course is sorcery, so eh. I don't know what to discard from campaign, I guess. Binding? Do I just do Nova and hope? I guess we do binding because we have more in the deck. We only have two Novas and we have four total bindings. Um, this chemist is in sight. Why do I keep doing this on, on their turn? Or on my turn? Because if they have another Sinister Sabotage, this is a terrible play. Why am I bad? This, this never gets old. Don't have another Sinister Sabotage. Come on. Don't punish me again. Ah, it's fine because we're going to draw two cards. What the fudge? Oh, right. We're not going to draw two cards. Why? Why do I? Why? Why am I punished? I, I, I'm so incredibly bad. And now and now they can remove my chemistry in sight. I'm so mad at myself. Gosh, dang it. I'm so mad at myself. I have no reason to do that on my turn. I might as well get some value out of it. Oh, that's getting discarded. I hate myself. I have no one to blame but me. That's fine. No one, no one stays and watches this long anyway. <laughs> that's why. I'm, that's my one consolation. No one will ever know. I had to get rid of my cameras inside, which is the correct decision. Yep. I, I did this to myself. And that's the worst part. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, children. I mean, we can maybe play the top deck game. They have to kill, they have seven, seven hits on me, right? Seven turns to kill me. I have a lot of blue cards that draw cards. So, theoretically, I'm fine. Just seven of those. Seven blue cards that draw me one card. And I guess I do get... Alright, well, uh, I have less time now. Come 
my life in half. Cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Suffocation, no breed. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Hurry up. A 60 minute video. That's why I don't play best of threes. No one likes these lengths. Ooh, Ixlon's binding. Wow. It's going to get countered anyway. I need to play it or else I'll die early. Please don't have a counter. This one. Fudge you. All right. God dang it. What am I? Three turn clock? 21? Yeah. You did it again! Why? They did it again! I'm on a no turn clock! What? I'm literally speechless. <laughs> they did it twice! I mean, to, like, I messed up. That, that mess up cancels my mess up, right? I'm good with that. Why? Why would you do that? The second time. Oh. Blow up my field. Yep. Uh, I mean, I can't use mine, so. Uh, it's, it's smart. Uh, if they get a search for us, can't then I can't blow it up. Um, that said, it does subtly thin my deck, and it absolutely thins theirs. Um, so I'm not sure how great that is. Because now that there's no clock, don't play, don't you dare fudge off. <laughs> I got, got my fielder room back, but I'm not sure it matters. Uh, do they have another creature in here? They have another nickel bolus, so they can flip bolus after hitting me and get back another nickel bolus. Ah, <sighs> darn. Really, really needed, I really need to draw, like, not trash. <laughs> Why? I just needed some cards that drew me cards. Is it my fault? Probably. <sighs> maybe, my, maybe my opponent will make, will make another mistake. I just want, like, opt into opt into opt into uh, camera shit inside. Oh, good. Doom Whisper. Awesome. I, I would be fine drawing my my board wipe. As long as my opponent doesn't have a... Uh... Oh, cool. The Stainful Strong. That's going to fudge and help me, you piece of crap. Why am I drawing these like this? <laughs> Why don't you love me? Oh, cool. Now I can get this back. Awesome. I can't even use it. I'm, I'm broken. Would I have won this game if I played better? I don't think I would have. I might have. Can't hit me with that balls. My power is boundless. Oh, cool. Boundless power. I don't care. I need the perfect draw. And I doubt I have it. Sure. Death means nothing to me. There go down to 16. I need to cast four blue spells. Some of which draw cards. That's a start. That is 100% a start. I need this to not get countered. I need them to just not have counter spells. That's that's it. And I need to keep drawing good. Drawing well, excuse me. Can I pull out the win? That opt is nice. That opt is real nice. Um... 
I think we get rid of Disdainful Stroke. They only have two mana, so I can't counter anything anyway. No, I could have potentially countered my own card. That 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 was wrong. One, two, three. I, I feel like that was probably wrong. I, I don't know. I need another good draw spell, please. It's not a good draw spell. Please, top deck something good. I'm sad. Maybe my opponent will make a mistake. Nope. Sadness has resolved. Fine. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's just frustrating how long it took. Claim the dang prize. I already had all of these. Gosh. <laughs> uh, I would like to thank my patrons, especially Zarag and Salamander, and uh, especially anyone who's stuck around for the end of this video. <laughs> if you'd like to join them supporting the channel and help me keep making interesting decks that lose to meta decks, find links to that in the description down below. I, I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, go ahead and tap that like button, add a subscription to your mana pool, and cast one of those comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, all will be one. <laughs>